Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So last night I had a class here at my house and I made this card for the ladies and they were all so excited so I decided that today I had to film it for you. So this is the card right here. So check this out. I absolutely love this card. And it's so much fun because it gives you the opportunity to play with the, um, the Happy Watercolor Stamp Set. So take a look at this. This is the Happy Watercolor Stamp Set. It is from the Spring Catalog. And um, it is awesome, awesome. I've seen so many great cards with this stamp set. Um, and then I also used Vivid Vases. So if you guys haven't seen these vases, they are really, really cool. There's so many things that you can do with them. And I will admit, as I looked through my Stampin' Up! Spring catalog, which is awesome, um, it's on page 20, I believe, 20 or 22. Let's take a look here. Okay, here we go, it's on page 20. So take a look at that, it's right there in the Spring catalog. And you know, a lot of the ladies said, you know, Brandy, I just, I didn't, I didn't see anything with that. And you know, it, it, it's true, it's kind of an open set. And so as we started talking and playing with this, the ladies ended up loving this card and they got really creative and I got really excited. Um, so I'm excited to bring it to you. So what do we need here today? Well, all you need is Whisper White Paper. And I'm gonna have all the sizes and all the dimensions on Brandy's cards. So don't worry about getting all that right now. It will be available to you on Brandy's cards. And if you're looking for the exact post, all you have to do is go up to the search um, bar and type in there Happy Watercolor or Vivid Vases. And that post will pop right up for you, okay? So let's get started. So I have just a piece of Whisper White Paper here and I'm gonna fold that in half. And that's gonna be my base. And then what I've done is I have mounted, um, I have mounted the kind of watercolor block looking piece from the Happy Watercolor stamp set. And I have Melon Mambo here. So you're gonna want, um, you're gonna wanna have a piece of scrap paper when you do this card, because there's gonna be a lot of stamping around the edges and so forth. So I've got, I have my, um, my Whisper White piece, my next piece. And what I like to do is I like to stamp I like to stamp the darkest in the, in the center. So I stamp in the center and then I start working my way around. So what happens is, is you have to be careful because if you, if you basically, if you stamp what part of your stamp is off of the paper, you kind of get this harsh line in your stamp. Then when you go to stamp it again for the lighter pink, it doesn't look as good. And I know some of you guys have done that. So I usually uh, come right to the center and you know take a look at the card you're not gonna see the center anyway, so that's okay. So if you go to the center and you stamp it, then you can start stamping the lighter colors around the edge. So we're just gonna keep working our way around here. And I really liked, I liked the lights and the darks and the different shades. So that is my goal, is to kind of create some various melon mambo shades here. And um, so once we do that, See, you guys thought we were gonna actually like watercolor something. This stamp set is just so cool. And like I said, if you, um, there's just been some really neat cards made with this set. So there you go. I know it doesn't look like awesome yet, but it will, I promise you. So that is, um, that's gonna be our layering piece, but we'll just set that aside here for a second. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the Vivid Vases stamp set. And all it is, is it does, I think it comes in wood only, and it's just one, one block, and I can already see that I may have mounted this a wee bit crooked. So we'll see how it goes. The ladies, uh, I didn't have anyone holler at me last night, so we'll see, but I can tell it, it, it appears to be maybe a, a hair crooked. So basic, I have stays on black, and I am going to stamp that right here on a smaller piece of Whisper White. There we go, look at that. Very cool. So all I did was just stamp straight down and stamp up. <clears throat> so I have to apologize for my voice. I have been <clears throat> getting sick lately with a cold and I'm getting over it, but I have that froggy voice. So I do apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stamp it again. This time it doesn't really matter how you stamp it. You're just gonna stamp it straight down and straight up. And now that I say that, I actually really like this one better. So I'm gonna save this 
for the layering piece for the top of my card. I'm gonna go back to the other vases. <clears throat> now what I thought was so fun about this card is that Yes, you can take markers and you can color these vases all day long. You can take a blender pen and you can make them fun and, and make them different um, shades. But what I thought we could do is how about we cut all these vases apart and we separate them. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna just make some fun designs on them. You know, last night some of the ladies were just so excited. Some of them look like, like stained glass and they just, they just, I don't know, they just got so clever and so cool. So here we go. Since we've already got ink, uh, pink ink, uh, the Melon Mambo, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp one of my vases. I'm stamping off because I want a lighter shade. And then I'm just gonna kind of start stamping on my vase. And I personally really liked the, you know, I just liked the fun look of the various shades on that, um, on that vase. So I wouldn't get too tripped up. I mean, you want it to kind of look unique. The next thing I did <clears throat> is here in the Happy Watercolor stamp set, there's this fabulous flower. So I thought, you know what? That flower would be so cool as one of the vases, kind of like it was coming off the side of the vase. So I went ahead and I picked up my Bermuda Bay and I have my flower. And so I'm gonna find the, the, um, the vase that I would like for that to have the flower on. And then I just kind of stamped my flowers straight down and straight up. You see that there? And so now it has a really pretty flower. And I can also see adding glitter to that. You could take a two-way glue pen and you can add some glitter. It would look really cool. The next thing I'm going to do is, let's see here, I am going to clean my um, the Melon Mambo off of my uh, stamp. Then I'm going to go to Crush Curry. So what I like to do is last night what we figured out is after we had so many ladies cleaning and using the stamp and scrub, started to kind of muddle my stamp pads a little bit. And what I mean by that is, you know, it didn't totally clean it because these were being used so much. It kind of left a little bit of deposit on there. So I would absolutely stamp your stamp off on a scrap piece of paper just to make sure it's clean before you take it to another color. So here we go. We've got crushed curry and I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm gonna find the vase that I'd like to stamp on. I'm gonna stamp off first, because I think it's, you know, you can always go darker, but I wanna start with something a little bit lighter. So we'll set that aside. Inside the happy watercolor, these fun little dots. And I thought, you know, why don't we stamp it light? And then we'll go in and we'll just add some fun little dots to it. So look at that. Yeah, that is like really cool, right? Really cool. All right, so now we've got, what is it? What, three out of our five vases done. One more time, we have to clean this one more time. That is probably the, the you know, the, the most work you'll have to do on this card. Well, except you gotta cut the bases out, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna stamp this off a little bit here. As soon as it's clean, we're gonna go in for the Bermuda Bay. Just ink that up really good. And do you see this little, um, this little curve here on the stamp? That is actually the curve that I used on the vase. And you know, and I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't worry too much about placement and that sort of thing because I figured each card each card would be unique each vase would be unique and it would be awesome so I wouldn't get too tripped up so that's it it's perfect the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in the act the actual image that I'm going to put on my card I'm going to pull up a blender pen which I really love these things and I've taken a little bit of reinker and I've put it on the top you can see here, I've just taken a little reinker Bermuda Bay and put it on the top of my stamp pad. And uh, the reason I did that is just because this is an older pad and there's, you know, it's just not as juicy. So this was just a little bit easier. I would always color off first just to make sure I want that lighter shade of Bermuda Bay. So I'm trying to get it a little bit lighter. Remember, you can always go darker. So I would absolutely just, you know, try to get mu as much of that color off as you can. And then you can, you know, you can add a little bit of, of the highlights. And so that's exactly what I want to do. Now that I've got one coat on this, I'm going to just grab a little bit more Bermuda Bay. And then I'm just going to kind of make it a little darker. And, you know, it's kind of just that shading. It's, it's fun. It kind of feels like you're watercoloring it. And you're kind of making it, you know, its own unique, its own unique little vase here. So let's just kind of finish that up. It looks really good. I like that a lot. So that's perfect. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and put the blender pen away. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start cutting our vases out. And they're not too bad, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't again really worry too much about getting perfectly, you know, on these black lines, but just do the best you can. I, I really don't think it's all that big of a deal. So there's one. Now we're gonna cut out our pink one. I love the pink one. I just thought it tied in really well by, um, you know, by making it the same as its background. I just thought it tied it in really, really good. So we're just cutting that out. Um, now you could most certainly do, again, markers and that sort of thing. You certainly do not have to stamp on these or do any type of fun designs. You could make it just as awesome with just markers and watercoloring if you don't like to cut. So don't get tripped up by that. And um, we're almost done here. We've got, got one more to cut out. That one's perfect. Oh, I can see it coming together. Love it. Now, what you're gonna wanna do as soon as we get these all cut out, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a Melon Mambo a marker, or if you have one of the other bright pinks, um, just pull a bright pink out. You're gonna wanna get an orange and grab yourself maybe a crushed curry. And um, you can either use a blender pen or you could use a marker for the leaves, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda just push my uh, vases aside here just for a second. I'm gonna pull away my scrap paper because we're all done with that. And I'm just gonna start assembling my cart. So I've got my Tombow glue here. And you know, this piece, the layering piece that you watercolored, um, I think it just should go flat. You certainly could put Stampin' Dimensionals behind it, but it doesn't really need it. I think you want your focus, you want your focus to be your vivid vases. I'm going to put Stampin' Dimensionals behind my layering piece, um, behind my vases. You know, you certainly, again, do not have to do that, but I like the dimension that it creates. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna position this on my card where I would like it. And I think that's perfect right there. Now let's go ahead and put our Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our Vivid Vases. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble that and we're gonna be good to go. All right, so we're gonna center this right here in that piece. You guys see that? See how easy that was? It looks awesome, awesome. I've had ladies ask me, um, you know, why do I layer white on top of white? You know, honestly, it looks really cool and it, it frames it really nice and you know, it's up, to, it's up to you. You certainly don't have to do that, but I've always really liked the way it just kind of pops it a little bit more. So that, that's why. So let's go ahead and put our vases down. I popped a couple of vases up. I guess I'm, I like my Stampin' Dimensionals. So this one here on the end where I used the pretty flower, I'm gonna put it behind the vase and I'm gonna stick it down right there. Perfect. And then the pink one, I honestly liked the pink one glued down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow, and be very careful, ladies, if you're using Tombow on the little vase because you don't want it to squirt out the sides. Wouldn't be very good. You might have to go get your little booger eraser and you know clean it up a little bit. Um, all right, so then we've got this vase, and I'm gonna put a stamp and whoop. I'm gonna put a stamp and dimensional behind that because I really like this one too. I like it popped up. I think it has a really unique, fun look to it. I'm gonna stick it down just like that. And then I'm also gonna glue the crushed curry vase down. And you know, you certainly don't have to if you have mini glue dots, those will work good too. You could just stick a mini glue dot behind it, it would work perfectly. So I am well on my way. Now what I'm gonna do is let's pull out our markers. So if you grabbed your markers, you're gonna need your yellow, you're gonna need a, um, an orange of some sort, you know, maybe Tangerine Tango would be good. You could even pull out Pumpkin Pie. Either one of those is good. I have um, Melon Mambo here is for my marker. So what I did is I started out with, let's start out with our pink, because I think that's probably the easiest. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there are two lines on your markers. The thick line is gonna be your bigger edge to your marker, see, like that. And then you've got a thin line here and that's gonna be your, your thinner, um, you know, your thinner part of your marker. So um, that's just a little news nugget for you. And it's funny, because I know that, but I never like look, and so I always open it wrong first. But anyway, so 
let's color our flower. So I'm gonna just start coloring this with my Melon Mambo and I'm just kind of filling it in. And then I'm gonna go over to this middle one and I'm gonna fill this in as well. You know, and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it where it didn't look like it was a solid pink. I kind of liked it looking kind of, you know, maybe like just kind of scratched in there. Um, so you'll have to just kind of see how you like it and play with it. Maybe you stamp it once and, and then you kind of fill it in and see what you like before you actually glue your awesome vases on the top. So you've got three flowers there with some pink on them. I'm going to pull out my yellow and I'm actually going to use the thicker edge this time for my yellow because you can't really tell anyway if I were to use the thin edge and this just kind of covers it faster. So I'm going to put a little center there in the middle of that pink. Then I'm going to go over to this flower and just kind of add a little bit of yellow. And now on this big, um, this big vase, this tall vase, I just kind of did a little bit of yellow in here. Nothing crazy. I came back in with my Tangerine Tango and you want the pointy edge. And I just kind of did some loops in here. I thought, you know, just to give it a little bit more contrast and make it look a little bit more like depth. The same thing with this last flower. I put a little bit of orange in here because I just thought it added a little something extra. Okay, so that's it. So you pull out your, um, you know, you can pull out your pearls, you can pull out your gems, jewels, whatever you guys want. But um, I thought it just really like kind of dazzled them up a little bit. I put one jewel right there. And then I also put one jewel in the center of this flower. Now I do see what I forgot, so I forgot to add the green. So let's go back and grab a blender pen. This only takes a second. I'm just gonna make sure my blender pen is clean, so always do that. I've got a little bit of gumball green here, and I'm just gonna get a little bit on my um, blender pen, and then just kinda come over here and paint my, uh, my leaves a little bit. And it's amazing how much that adds to that. Just that little bit of pop with those leaves. It really does add a lot to that card. Really cool, really, really cool. All right, so I'm gonna grab my pink one more time because I forgot one little pink flower. So I'm just gonna color that in right there, perfect. All right, that's it. This is um, You're a Whole Lot of Wonderful from the Vivid Vases stamp set. Love the greeting, love the vases. And so ladies, what if you took the uh, six, um, the six sided sampler, the hexagon with all those fabulous um, designs and texture looking stamps and use the hexagons to like stamp on these. It would be super cool. I haven't tried it yet, but it is on my list of things to do. So I just loved this card and I hope that you do too. And again, it's here in the spring catalog, which is by Stampin' Up. So if you don't already have a catalog, let me know. I would love the opportunity to send you one and earn your business, answer any questions that you might have. So just let me know about that. And um, I just wanna thank you so much for stopping by today and I hope you guys have a great day.